Hello, my name's Graham, and we have another three-minute thought uh, based on our reading from the Sunday service at St Peter's Cringleford this morning. Now, our three-minute thoughts so far have all been about readings from the Gospels, the stories of Jesus' life. This one's slightly different. It's from a letter that St Paul wrote to the church in Rome in those first years of Christianity. Now, we get to the point where halfway through his letter, or just a bit after that, Paul has spent a great deal of time talking about what he knows about God, talking about how the fact we've all got stuff wrong. But because Jesus Christ died uh, and because uh, the love of God is so great that we are forgiven uh, and that because all of us have got stuff wrong and all of us can be forgiven, we can all give glory to God uh, due to the fact that Jesus died and rose again. Now, at the end of all that and all the talk of love and glory, Paul says, therefore, and at the beginning of chapter 12 of the book of Romans starts to talk about uh, what the outworking is uh, of all this grace and glory of God. And it's to live lives of service, to take uh, our whole lives and give them as an offering to God so that what we do for him, how we respond to his love is not just in the sacrifices that the people would have given before they came Christians in Rome. It's not just in our times of religious observance, uh, in our church services uh, nowadays, but that every single part of our lives can be used to reflect God's glory, to show his love to people, uh, to offer his grace uh, to the world. And he goes on to talk about how we can do this, how we can show something of the love of God in how we react to each other, particularly how the church can live together. And he says that we should think of ourselves uh, with sober judgment, so that we should not think too much of ourselves, we should work out what we need to do better, how we can respond more to God's grace. But also he goes on to say that like a body, all of us has an important role to play, that we all have a gift from God to use in that showing of his love and that spreading of his grace. And so we need to be thinking, like, like a body, what are we called to do? Are we a hand to do one thing? Are we a nose to help breathe? Are we someone who's been given gifts uh, in encouragement or to help people? Are we are given gifts to tell people about Jesus? Have we been given gifts to aid those who need help in this world? Now, I don't know about you, but quite often we can be really bad at seeing our own gifts. So one thing we thought about this morning was how we can serve God by encouraging people in their giftings, by saying to people, we know that you're really good at this. We've seen how God has gifted you in this. Thank you for using that gift. So that we might be able to encourage each other in the gifts God has given us, so that we can help spread the message of the love of God uh, wherever we are. Uh, and so his mercy, his grace and his forgiveness to people. Now, we're praying for uh, you all. Uh, as you continue to walk with God, to think more about him. And we hope you have a good week ahead.